Due to my work, I use a lot of different noise reduction earbuds. And when I seen the Milwaukee earbuds, I was a little bit set back as to how I was going to really feel about something this large in my ear. But after a little bit of use, I quickly found out that the size of these doesn't matter. They're not heavy. I don't feel them in my ear and the noise reduction I get from them and the sound quality is amazing. Now with that said, I've done a lot of reviews on different earbuds on this channel and I know how picky people can be. So I'm gonna go through these guys top to bottom, but I have to say, yeah, the Milwaukee's rock. They rock top to bottom on just about everything. But there are some nuances that I wanna go over and things that you'll find that are better here and maybe worse here than others. Now first I have this out because I wanna show the noise reduction rating with the foam ear tips. 25. If you have the silicone ear tips, it's 22. So if you really want the noise reduction, you're gonna use the foam ear tips that come with it. They also have some extras in different sizes. And then you also have multiple silicone tips in different sizes. Now these rings that you see here go around the earbud, kind of uh, encompassing it, and then they kind of flip in your ear, which is great because it gives it another way of just holding it in. Now, if we look at this earbud, you can see the charging ports on the side. You take this foam and kind of you know, crump it up a little bit and then it expands in your ear. It works great. It sits in this case perfectly. If you want to set another set of foam earbuds or anything in here, if you want to switch between them two, they will stay in there. They will not fall out, which is nice. The case is pretty nice. This little, I expect this clip always to close on its own. You have to push it in and then you open it come out. There's a magnet here that turns these on and off as far as what they're charged to. They go from green to orange to red. And don't be surprised if when you're charging them, one is orange and one is green, or one is red and one is orange. I see that a lot when I'm using these. It seems like one dies a little bit before the other. Now you also have a light on the side in the USB-C charging port here, and that is going to work for our oop, Milwaukee battery. This Milwaukee battery can run upwards of seven charges, which is nice. And that's gonna be seven full charges. So I, I like the fact that I probably can get by with these for one week. But the downside to that is I have a very large case. We have this large battery in the back in a large case so we can put everything in. In comparison, one of the main units I run all the time are my Samsungs. These fit a little bit more into my ear, not the noise reduction. These are actually noise canceling. I do not use the noise canceling. They have an app that I can change between, you know, off, noise canceling, or I can actually hear things through them, ambient sound. Very nice, these last a long time, but look at the size of the case. I throw this case in my pocket, turn it on and off based on what I'm doing, and if I'm between mowing or between things, I can put them back in, let them charge, and it's just in my pocket, not a big deal. This is a little bit larger. Now these two have what I'll call ambient sound, but Milwaukee's gonna call it job site noise reduction. So you can turn that on and off, as you can see, with your left earbud with a push. And I absolutely love this feature because you can grab onto this earbud, even at this end, get in this area, push it in your ear, and you don't push this button. This button that's here has a dedicated click to it, and it's fairly difficult to push, you can't really see it, but it's a, you know that you're pushing it when you do, and that turns on and off the job site noise reduction. Now, if you double tap it, that will raise or lower the volume that you'll hear through this. And this works amazing. Like, I'm in a tractor inside a cab, and I get it. Some people are gonna say, why are you using it in a cab? I wanna listen to the radio, I wanna pull the noise down, and I don't wanna hear everything, but I can adjust what I hear, so if something is going on outside, I can hear it. For example, I had a chain on the PTO spinning and hitting the safety cover over the PTO, and I could hear that through this, the little ting, 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 no issue. The higher the noise frequency, the higher things like walking through leaves or anything like that, you can hear without issue. Some of the lower stuff, like a hammer pounding or anything, the noise will be pulled back and down, so it might sound a little bit different. Now with that said, some of the things that people are fussy about, 
in that job site noise reduction setting where you can hear through, you will hear a little bit of what I will call static in the background. That static is just a slight hum. And if you turn off the noise reduction and just have them off, there will be absolutely no hum. It'll be dead quiet, but there'll be a touch of a hum in there. Some people won't like that. Some people won't even notice it. I would not notice it if it wasn't brought up in another video for, to me uh, on some different earbuds. And so on this one, I was intently listening for it. And when it switches songs, it will kind of roll through one ear into the other. It'll turn off and turn back on. And that brings me to sound quality. Everyone has a different opinion on sound quality and is it as good as Beats? Is it as good as this like Samsung earbuds? Is it as good as that? Is it Bose quality? What is it? And everyone has a different idea. With that said, my general thoughts on this is that they are almost equal to my Samsungs, which are fairly high end. These were $229 on sale. These are $179. So the price here, I would not hesitate. I would jump on this for $180, no issue. I'd highly recommend it. The sound quality on most songs is right on par. I feel like in general, it is light on bass. I think that, and then the next song comes on and I'm like, wow, this song has a lot of bass. So some songs that I think should have some bass don't. Some songs that I don't think should have the same amount or when I start thinking it, either it's in my head, I get a lot of bass on the next song. That could be my phone. It could be anything that's going in between, but I'm going to say sound quality in here for 95% of people is going to be awesome. And when you need this for hearing protection, the sound quality to me is great because I have this on my, all the volume is pretty low inside here. I'm not just rocking out with these most of the time because I want to hear what's going on around me. When I don't want to hear it's when I'm outside, like on the dingo, I turn the outside volume right off. I don't need it. I want the hearing protection when I'm on my riding lawnmower, turn it off. I don't need it. When I'm doing different things like blowing and I have that backpack right on my back, don't need it. But in certain cases, when you're in a job site area, my job site tends to be on some piece of equipment, you might wanna to listen to things, and in order to listen to anything around you, you can't have the music blaring, unless you really turn it up. But that just seems to counteract everything. So at a lower volume, some songs have great bass, some songs don't. At a higher volume, I find the same. It's interesting. With that said, sound is very clear, very crisp, and it is loud enough for me, and it's the same noise level as the Samsung. So I'm not putting it in my ear and saying, man, I wish it was louder. There's never been a time I've run it on full blast, and it gives you a warning, on, at least on my phone, I believe on others, once you get over three quarters that you could be doing hearing issues. So I've only run it up to there a couple times, and I do the same with the Samsung. So overall, awesome there. These things fit in my ear and stay there. I'm constantly adjusting my Samsungs, but of course that's going to be something that is based upon fit. Make sure they fit your ear, get the right inserts that you like, and they're awesome. They stay in place, and like I said, if you have them in place and you're messing with them, you won't hit that button. And I think that hitting that button is a big thing. These are foam, I gotta kind of crunch them in. That button that's on the side, when you push it on the right anyway, that's how you answer calls. That's how you hang up a call. You can skip songs, you can move forward, you can move back. All that is very easy with the right earbud. And again, oh, I had the left one in my right ear. That's why it was going on and off. You can hear what's happening through everything. And that to me is pretty awesome. What it doesn't do, if your phone is muted, nothing comes through the earbuds. On my Samsung, if I get a message and my phone is muted, it'll come through and say message or call and it'll alert me. I run everything through my watch. That way I can feel it. I don't have to hear it and it makes more sense. This is just dead silent. If your phone is silent, if your phone isn't silent, it runs everything else through the earbuds. One little thing that kind of threw me because my watch was going off, but I didn't hear anything. So it just isn't like what I'm used to. 
If you forget what earbud does what, Milwaukee has this right inside the case to tell you what happens. This is your noise reduction. One time and one push on the left earbud turns it on and off. Pushing it two times will raise the volume and it'll take it up and then down, up and down. You just keep on pushing to get it where you want it from the factory. These were absolutely amazing to me. I did not adjust. Play and pause times one, skip forward times two, backwards is three. Taking a phone call when it rings is a simple push. When you want to hang up is another simple push. If you want to ignore the phone call, it's a double tap. Very, very easy to see and learn. It's not complicated at all. The buttons are large and it's hard to push them if you didn't want to. They're absolutely amazing in a great design. Taking phone calls on these is great. It's not the same as some of the other ones I've had that actually take some of the noise and bring it down, especially if it's a constant noise and they only listen for your voice. This takes everything and pushes it through for the most part. I did a lot of talking on these while I was driving around in my Ranger and it was fairly loud in there and it did get through slightly to the other person on the other side of the call, but it wasn't bad. They were able to get through it without issue and not you know, have it hurt their ear. So I believe these are gonna be great for most things, like in the cab of my tractor, I, take, I also took phone calls, no issue. That was pretty simple. There's noise in there, but it's not as bad as what you'd think. I would not take a phone call out on the lawnmower in the open on the dingo or anything like that. That's not gonna be the case. On a job site, you could take the phone call, they're gonna hear saws and anything else in the background, but they are tuned in pretty well to push a lot of that outside noise away and just get your voice. But as you know, you have microphones up here, they're gonna grab a lot more than just your voice. So it works in the phone calls were actually pretty clear. I was very impressed. As far as runtime with these, I have not put them on and left them on for more than seven hours. So in seven hours, I can tell you they went great, um, but I haven't had them on for 10 or anything like that. So someone who's gonna push them past that limit may run into an issue with battery charge. I think with this case, if you take a lunch, you're gonna throw them in here most likely, let them charge for a little bit. I think they charge fairly quickly. At least that's been my experience. When I throw them in, they're going to be somewhat orange and they're gonna click the green fairly quickly within 15, 20 minutes. And then I let them go from there. Pretty sweet. Downside again, the size of this case, if you're carrying it around with you, is large. I wish it had a belt clip or a place to put a belt clip on. That would be nice if you were carrying it or some other way of having this with me so I could have the earbuds. They weren't just thrown in my pocket with sawdust or dirt or anything else that's in there. And this was just a touch smaller. It's just, it works because if you're a lawn mowing guy, these are amazing. If you would be a lawn mowing contractor, you will love these. And then you just have this in your truck, pop them in, rock and roll on, that's great. For guys who have to carry this, this case is slightly large. This is going to help people hear things that are having going on in the job site, help them keep their hearing and make a lot of people very happy. Great job, Milwaukee. I highly recommend every one of you guys buy these. They're well worth it. And if they're not and you hate it, put it in the comments below. I challenge you because there's nothing that I found that's really wrong with these. I think that's amazing. Give me a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comments below. Tell me if I'm wrong because I don't think I am. Prove me wrong. Have a great day, guys.